great working with Damon, great working with Stephen Sedgwick, who is his mix engineer, who prefers to master um, mix onto the half inch tape. With half inch, you've got to have a good machine. So basically we've got like a Ampex, uh, we've got like the ATR, the same as what they've got in their studio. You have to line the tones up. Lining the tones up before is another great sort of like dweeby thing to do. But uh, I've got a sort of way of doing it to tweak the bass, which we won't, be, I won't tell you about, because that's the only secret I've got. I'm, I'm giving them all away, guys. I can't, I've got to keep com some secrets. So, but the tape has got a good flavor. They often send me the, the a 96K a digital file as well. So we can choose between the half inch tape analog and uh, the digital file. We sometimes find that for the mids and tops, they do sound more accurate on the data, but for the bass end, the half inch tape it's just got like a fuzzy sort of warmth, which you you just can't get. Um, they they often have amazing, the Gorilla stuff has got, oh, uh, Good, the Bad, the Queen, bass end is so important to Damon. It's a real West London sort of big bass. Paul Simonon plays on a lot of the stuff that he does, and his bass on a half inch sounds like Paul Simonon, but when you play it on a data file, it doesn't, it doesn't sound, it's so weird. It's just a completely different feeling from it. So we like the half inch tape. So what I would do normally is get the track up. So let's just say we're doing this, this run through, we're gonna do this for the, for the radio. So with the radio EQ, we wanna give it a little bit of sparkle. So Avalon, put in a bit of, 17k. What I'm hearing is I'm just hearing a, a little bit of lift. Half a dB at 10k. Sounding good. Um, summit. Bit of 180, fatten the beat up. Using stereo spread. From being mono. Twenty percent wider. It's making things sound really open, nice and epic sounding. Get some more, or squeeze some more level of the analog output. Making sure it's not over, going over on my A to D. Taking the EQ out. Just A, B in that. At the end of... The mix is so good. It just needs that little bit of sparkle, a little bit of warmth, a bit of character on the bottom end. So next run through, I'll add the limiting. I've got the Summit EQ, which is that. I'm adding one and a half dB at 180. The Avalon EQ, I'm adding 217, another little bit of kick, the one on 120 is always a good one in terms of looking at the mix. So I'm adding a bit of 120, 180. Oh, let's go a bit of 2K7 to get a bit more aggression for the radio version so it just cuts, cuts through a little bit more. So that's all I'm using, and I'm just using a dB extra of level. So there's no limiting, no compression. 